Well, if you live in Louisiana and you like mm, spicy content, get ready to hand over your ID. A new law known as Act 440 went into effect this month that will require any website that offers explicit content to verify that if any visitor is coming to their site from the state of Louisiana, that they are at least 18 years of age. It should be noted that the law passed the floor almost unanimously. The law provides for the ability of uh, citizens to sue those websites that do not provide verification uh, and allow in this manner uh, minors to access their content. There are obviously privacy concerns that come with a law like this. Uh, the law itself addresses these concerns partially, I would say, uh, by having a provision that prohibits retention by these websites of the data used to validate uh, the visitors uh, and also allows those damaged by uh, the violation of this provision uh, to sue the websites. However, uh, it's all in theory, and once data is breached with data breach and uh, data hacking on the rise, once that happens and the data is out there, uh, the damage often cannot be undone. I should point out that there are other states that have similar laws in the books, including California, laws that aim at reducing the ability of minors to access these uh, sites with explicit content. However, those laws are doing that through uh, non-specific means like uh, uh, age estimation rather than a formal verification. I should also point out that uh, Louisiana offers the Louisiana Wallet, the LA Wallet, which is a digital tool that allows verification by separating the verification itself from the uh, personal data of the person being verified. Now, one thing that I find interesting is that these laws aim at protecting children only from one type of explicit content, whereas the gore and violence that children are being exposed to is apparently of no interest to the legislators. And so I'm wondering if what drives uh, these laws is not so much the best interest of the children as much as a Puritan approach to communication. No matter how you look at it though, one thing is sure. If you're a Louisiana resident starting this year, your spicy nights, in addition to tissue and lotion, will probably require also your driver's license.